Hello farmers, welcome again to Obert Farm. Just wanted to give you an update of what's going on at the farm. As you noticed, nothing, no maize, nothing, everything just went, did not happen. So what we're just doing is that we have these drip pipes that we have. This is a bit different from the drip irrigation pipes that others use because the other ones are already like censored. I actually like these ones because these ones really last a long time. I've now had them for five years. I've never had any problem with them. We just do this at the end of the day. We just roll them up. After we roll them up, as you can see like here, we roll them and then we just store them in a cool place. The other ones I believe end up becoming very shabby before the five years are done. We used them once, I didn't like them. So this one's what we just did is that we bought the pipe, which is about a heavy gauge, and then we just punched holes in them. So these are the holes that you can see that are releasing the, the water. And this just came into place where after we just thought that we should do something. Yes, the rains have gone, but as much as the rains have gone, we need to find a way of at least doing something that we can use all the time without having to do a lot of irrigation. Water is now becoming scarce, so drip becomes a bit of an advantage because it means that you're not using it 24-7. You actually do it overnight, the drip irrigation, you pump the amount of water you want, just make sure that it drips overnight and during the day everything is nice and switched off. There is still a lot of heat but it should not be the major factor about it but what we're just doing is that winter is almost around here and we are just getting ourselves prepared and ready for this this is something that we have done before um, as you can see we have just made the beds we're now just using the same kind of drip pipes making sure that they are all aligned this to me i believe is actually much cheaper than buying the drip irrigation pipes. If I remember well, buying each roll, each roll is about 100 meters, and each roll is, if I am correct, about for 25 or 30 dollars, if I remembered well. The things that then become expensive are your T junctions, which are about a dollar each, and then the um, U junctions at the end, which we then use to cap off at the end this side. These are about another 50, a dollar each, about a dollar, dollar 50 each, if I remember well. So, like right now, as you can see, the gentleman is beating the pipe. This is just to make sure that we're cleaning the pipes. And after we have cleaned the pipes, as you can see, there's now all spots where this is where each and every plant will then go. So for now it's cleaning so that we clear all the pipes. We have opened the ends of the pipes. As you can see, we have opened the ends and where the ends end is where the water. So if it's like this, it means that it is um, it's clear. And then we move on to the next pipe when it's now pouring out water like this. At the end, after they have completed, let me just show you like the first line. After they have completed, it will then be bent and then pegged. If, I'm if I can show you correctly, nicely, it will then be bent and then capped off. Normally, we just cap it off by bending it and then there will be no water. Like right now, it is still dripping, but this needs to be fixed. But this is just a bit about the drip irrigation that we're doing. And this is just to make sure that we have something that we're doing during this rainy, I can't say this winter, because winter this year we're not going to, we're not expecting much and we hope everything is okay. Thank you very much and have a good day.